In this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to do keyword research for free using good old trusty Google. Now, if you don't know me, I'm Josh. I'm your web design coach. I teach people how to build awesome websites and how to build a web design business that gives you freedom and a lifestyle you love. And a big aspect of that is being able to do keyword research for your site and for your clients as well. Now, there's a lot of awesome tools out there for keyword research. Some are free, some are premium. There's also a lot of different strategies and methods for how to do keyword research. What I'm about to show you are my top five methods for using Google for, again, just basic free keyword research. Now, real quick, before we dive in, if you like this video, please consider subscribing below. There's plenty more where this came from. And then I am going to be referencing my SEO masterclass, which is a free one hour on demand training that you can sign up for if you like this video and you'd like to learn a little more about SEO, particularly SEO for web designers. So we're going to start off with method number one with free keyword research on Google, which is to use the good old trusty search bar. Now, I use the Divi theme by Elegant Themes for my website and all my builds. So I'm going to actually show you a bit of a live case study for keyword research for myself. And I'm going to search Divi tutorials. Now, where this is cool is when you search a phrase in Google, when you click the space bar or even just click into the search box, you will see a ton of suggested terms. And that is point number one. That is method one. All of the terms that Google suggests in the search bar, that is your first tactic for free keyword research. But we're going to take this to the next level. This is something that's actually really, really cool that I found out more recently. And that is after a search term that you have in there, just click space and then you can go through the alphabet and see what other terms are there for different letters. So this is method number two, doing a more detailed search with the Google search bar. So for example, if I click A, we'll see Divi Tutorials A, and then any search terms that have the letter A in there. If we do B, this will give me an idea that, okay, maybe I'll wanna do some blog posts and videos for Divi Builder Tutorials or Divi Best Tutorials or Divi Tutorials for Beginners. If I do C, this will show us some Divi Tutorials for CSS. So this is actually a more detailed way of just using the Google search bar for some basic keyword research. And keyword research is not rocket science. The way we're doing it is very common sense, but it's pretty cool. This saves you from having to invest in a, a fancy software if you're not quite ready to go that route. So this is really cool. Now, the third area to do free keyword research in Google is right down here in this section called People Also Ask. Now, you'll notice the term Divi Tutorials is not in these terms right here. These are more broad terms around Divi. And I'm not for sure on this, so don't quote me, but I think that what Divi is doing or what Google is doing is usually the first word in any search is what is going to trigger Google to pull up some other responses. Now, you can test this out and see what comes up, but either way, it's really nice to know what other people are asking, in this case, in and around Divi. So... Google's going to show the very popular question, is Divi hard to learn? And here is a snippet, an answer from my friends over at Divi Cake. They have the top article that answers that question. Uh, a classic question, is Divi bad for SEO? There's the top article and snippet for that. By the way, it's not. Bad SEO practices are bad for SEO. Divi is not, and I'm a shining example of that. Um, so it's really cool. Now, so that's area number three. Let me show you the fourth method for key, key, free keyword research with Google. And that's when you go all the way down here. Oh, what do you know? I made it on page one for Divi tutorial. So I actually know what I'm talking about. Uh, but the last section here is at the very bottom of a SERP. And that is, in short, if you don't know what that means, it's search engine results page. And that is the related searches. Now, this section is a little bit different uh, than the people also ask because the people also ask section I found is more of more of question based questions and queries into Google, whereas these are terms or what's known as short tail keywords and key phrases, which, by the way, if you are not sure what the difference is between short tail and long tail keywords and key phrases, I do cover that in my SEO masterclass, which is available for you now. And that is a free training. So I highly recommend checking that out. You can sign up below. But this is the fourth area, related searches. And what's really cool is you can dive into this even further, and that will take it to the next level with free keyword research. So if I go to uh, Divi Builder, for example, we will see a whole other slew of keywords that we could potentially target. So now the people also ask section is what is the Divi Builder? How much does the Divi Builder cost, etc. And down here, you'll see a whole new related set of searches in and around the Divi Builder instead of Divi Tutorial. So it's actually really cool. Those are the main areas there. And the fifth final way 
that uh, you can do some free keyword research with Google is just to look at the videos. And if you click right down here on view all, this will take you to all the videos that are targeted or have this term or this key phrase in the title and in any of the SEO settings. Now, most of these are gonna be YouTube. And as a side note, if you're gonna be doing any content creation, I highly recommend that you consider doing YouTube videos because if you didn't know, Google owns YouTube, so they play very nicely together. And again, this will just show you all the results, video results, based off of this term right here. So, I mean, you could just click videos, you could also click images and go further, uh, but it's really nice to know what videos are coming up first because videos are gonna pull up on the front page, usually with any SERP result, again, search engine results page. So it's really, really handy. Now, the last thing I wanted to mention is that a results page is gonna look different depending on if it's a term or a question or a physical product or location. But in this, in my industry, this is how I do all of my free keyword research. So it's extremely handy. So let's just recap again. All you have to do, number one, method number one is to type a term or a key phrase into Google and then just look at the suggestions box that Google kicks out. Go number two, go through the alphabet. If you'd like to, you know, get a little more fancy with free keyword research, this is actually my favorite method right here. Number three is to look at the people also ask section. Number four is to go down to the related searches section in, in, a, in a SERP page. And then finally, look at the videos and you can just click view all to look at all the videos that are popping up. Now, as I mentioned, I have a free SEO masterclass. If you like this and you would like to learn more about SEO, just the fundamentals, the basics, that's available for you right now. You can sign up below. It is a free on-demand one-hour training. I would love to be able to show you more about the awesome world of SEO. I know SEO can seem terrifying and scary. That's how I felt when I get started, but all you have to do is know the basics and you can do a lot of good for your website and your clients as well. So sign up for that below. And I hope this video has helped. Again, consider subscribing if you like this and I'll see you on the next tutorial. And I hope to see you right now over in my free SEO masterclass.